Armand is naturally next because he's his next beer is uh, also made with the same cherries that the Cantillon is using for their uh, Lupe Pay Creek, and uh, I think uh, Armand was, is a very good person to talk about the the special nature of a Scarbex cherry and and why it's important. Scarbex Creek. Like I said, that's, that's what I said, right? That's I guess I'll say that in my language. Yes, they started speaking better and better. <laughs> yeah. Scarbex Creek is a wild cherry. So finally, this cherry is growing out of the spit and made something like it's not called a tree. I don't know. Uh, a bush. Bush. Well, uh, it's a bush. And when he says grows out of the pit, you mean that it's always it's always from a seed, a cherry pit. Not it doesn't. You never have a grafting. It's not grown commercially. So they weren't, that's one thing. Mostly you couldn't find them, a lot of, uh, origin of the name comes from Scarbeck, what's a part, what was the village, near to the center of Brussels, now belongs back under the to the large city of Brussels. Scarbeck was in the Middle Ages, of course, uh, the garden of the, the big city, where all the vegetables came from and the fruit came from. That's the name of the cherry. The, the specialty on the cherry is that since it's, uh, it's a small tree, so you cannot plant this tree in, for example, a yard where you have also cows running around. And that's the one. Second, it is a tree which grow in wild, but you can also take them out and put them somewhere in your, your, in your yard. And, but like it's wild, it just lives so long, so maximum 20 years. The special taste of this tree, this cherry, is this is, first of all, a very small cherry. So if you want to pick them up, you need a lot of time, and that's why nowadays they're very, very, very expensive. The taste of this cherry is that makes it more aromas and rather more dryness in the, in the, the beginning of the month than the teeth and, and, and the tongue. That's so typical for that cherry. We have two sorts of the creek. We have the Scarabesi creek, and we have also the regular creek. Uh, Thanks to Frank Bourne, I can buy them on uh, what he's importing from Poland. Poland, and um, it's otherwise it's a problem for me because you have to buy the, those cherries if you want to have a good price with all the truck. So that means in in my case something like 24,000 kilos in one uh, truck. So I'm very happy that Frank Bourne he can sell me. Maybe 2,000 kilo, maybe 4,000 kilo. So I'm not the only one with, uh, who is uh, helped by Frank. Uh, we are other brands and brewers. This is a Polish cherry. We can maybe say about that. that it is, let's say, not immediate similar to it, but it is so very good cherry because we need sour cherries. A sweet cherry can you, it doesn't mean that you use uh, or you add uh, a sweet cherry. You cannot make a beer with that. Sour cherry, not every sour cherry sort is for making beer. So for example, we have a lot of sour cherries in Belgium, but those type of cherry uh, is not for um, uh, brewers. Nowadays it's so that it is, wild cherry is less and less available because people don't pick them up. And so I think there is not so many brewers using that. I think John and me, we are nearly the only one who are just commercializing this wild cherry. Because there is not any more available. Last year there were a lot of cherries, thank God. And sometimes we have 1,000 kilos, sometimes we have 3,000 kilos. That's it. And that's it. We cannot make more than that. So when it's sold, so the good opportunity is that for Creek that we have the, the help of Frank Bone and that we can mark it. But the thing is that I don't have them always available. It's part of my problems I have. Uh, I cannot make enough for that. And okay, the biggest part of my production of Greek goes to the restaurant. And then we have it on draft. If you come to the Trifontaine restaurant, it's like the recipe of my father. It's a little bit sweet with fresh, fresh sugar syrup I make myself, like it always has been. That has a big disadvantage. It doesn't mean that's really sweet in it. It's just a little bit sugar on it, sugar syrup we put on it. Uh, but there is a disadvantage that is don't conserve anymore. So you have to drink it in, let's say, 
five days, six days. Otherwise, it's not fermenting, and of course, it goes to vinegar. That's how the most quantity of my Greek is sold at home. So I don't bother that much. Uh, I'm not sure if it's, it's clear, but uh, the way this works, again, these are not commercially grown cherries. Basically, there are people, for various reasons, have these trees growing in their backyards in the areas in and around Brussels. And so these guys who really want to do this right are going to find these people and literally, in some cases, picking the cherries for them, I, I think. Yeah. And it's, again, more work for these guys that have enough work already, but uh, that's the dedication you have. And these, these cherries, uh, as, uh, as Armand said, are, well, it's important, I think, to make this distinction. Uh, the word creek in Flemish means sour cherry. If you have a beer that is really sweet, it might not be proper to call it a creek. There's another word in Flemish for a sweet cherry. So when you have a creek, it's meant to be a sour cherry.